Hi Aquarius, Golden Empress Collection here. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate your patience with these September readings, but they're coming out when they are meant to come out. I promise you. Make sure that you guys are checking that description box below because guess what? We got a whole new channel. Yeah, I don't know if you guys watched Friday Night Love Tarot either, but those are getting good as well. <laughs> so the new channel um, is just collective messages. And as soon as we get to a thousand, we get to go live there all the time and not just on Fridays. Okay. Um, lots of energy coming in. We have a new moon on the way very, very soon. Please make sure you're preparing for it. I just got the chills when I said that. Ooh, I think we even talked about that on Friday Night Love Tarot. I said goosebumps. <laughs> That's what I called it. Someone else called it chicken skin. <laughs> I've never heard of it like that. It was, I thought that was funny. So, um, yeah, let me know how this resonates for you in the comment section below. Check this out. We're doing love, money, and career. There will be an extended. The Vimeo extended link is going to be below as well. Yep, yeah, I already know. I already know. Lots of you guys are just all in this energy of watching other people right now. I promise you. Aquarius, I'm just going to go ahead and say that, I don't know, this could be you. This could be your energy, but we'll see. Bottom of the deck, you have the Justice card. Libra, air, love it. Love it, love it. Mm. Yeah, you definitely came out in your own reading right here. Okay. You came out as the Page of Swords and the Five of Swords. And the Justice card is at the bottom of the deck again. Air energy all over this. Some of you guys are going through a legal matter and it has to do with love. I mean, it's you could be in court, you could be fighting for something, but we're gonna get some more cards out here and figure out how this is gonna work out. But I see it, it's extreme, whatever it is. Because Aquarius, it pulled you into your own Venus, you know, I've gotta say something type of energy here, Aquarius. You know, Venus is going into Virgo, and then I think towards the end of the month, Venus will then move into Libra. So with that Justice card, this could be what it is. Like, you see something coming, you know someone's trying to manipulate you, you are not about to play any sort of game here. I told you, all air energy. You have the Queen of Swords, baby. Look, this might just be you. That, that's, mm. You are not about to play with anybody anytime soon. Whatever it was that someone was trying to do to you, you figured it out with this Queen of Swords Aquarius. You said, I am out of here. You turned your back on something. You have been waiting on someone to do something. You have invested in someone. And I don't know if they disappointed you, but I know that all it did was teach you some self-love lessons here. You are not about to be disrespected with this Queen of Swords. With the way that this Page of Swords, this Five of Swords, and this Queen of Swords is, oh, this could be an ex-lover. This could be, you know, someone trying to just come for you is what I'm picking up on. So maybe you see the signs. Maybe you see the synchronicity. Maybe you don't. I definitely feel that spirit wants you to with that karma, though, with that justice, because Venus and Libra is all over this. It's on its way, whatever this is. And I think you might have to end up saying something here. OK, some of you guys, if this ends up in a legal matter, you could end up meeting a lawyer. OK, that's what this Queen of Swords could represent. I'm thinking to myself, you're going to, it's something that you cannot make it up. You're about to tell somewhere where they can shove it. This is your other person. King of Swords, Queen of Swords, you two are about to have a fight. I mean, technically, you think you're right and they think they're right. So this might be some straight tit for tat on top of that. Here's the thing. I'm not sure what it is that's bringing you two together with this tit for tat, but we're about to figure this out because I can't imagine that anybody would like this particular type of tit for tat energy because it's extremely immature. Yeah, the wheel of fortune here. Okay, so I'm definitely faded for you to deal with this particular person. Yeah, I told you. You feel like you wasted time with this wheel of fortune. This Five of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, you know, it's like you definitely learned this lesson. You had to think about it, too, is another thing I'm thinking. You had to think about it because of the way it just hung you up. And right now, you don't even know what to say to this person, and they don't even know what to say to you. Some of you guys, what? I was just thinking to myself, how are you going to split the money up? And now, all of a sudden, we've got this coming in. What is that? Why? <laughs> I'm just going to giggle a little bit here and say to myself that there's definitely a choice that needs to be made. 
Look, here's your air energy again. Oh, look, and this card is, all right, so this is the ding, 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 ding. Four of Swords. Four of Swords, Libra energy. Y'all do this all the time. Y'all stay in this drama with this Jupiter and Libra here. You do. And I told you, as you all move into Venus and Libra, y'all better watch out. Because there's going to be something else that comes in here. Maybe you two will get along a little bit better, you know. But there's going to be something that is, like, revealed. <laughs> Hold on. Because somebody wants to play. And that's what I'm picking up here. And it's like, you have just been waiting, waiting, waiting. And I'm thinking to myself, you better not take this person back. King of Wands. You better not. Some of you guys, I'm seeing something else come out here, though. I'm seeing a family situation, so hang on to a second. Let me, But let me get through the drama of whatever couple this is. Even if it's your ex, and they're trying to stop you from moving on with a new lover here, now nah, you're about to bring that to an end. You might even need to call the police, you know, tell your lawyers about whatever this is. That's kind of the family thing I'm seeing here, okay? King of Wands, because you have to have another masculine that's around here. King of Wands, Queen of Wands, yeah. You have a whole nother masculine that brings out like a, a different side of you or something like that. Um, or, or, or feminine, don't get it twisted because, you know, you have a whole pair that's right here, okay? Some of you guys, if you are going through a situation where it is tit for tat, you can't get away from this particular person. Maybe you have to sneak out in the middle of the night, something along those lines. You have soulmates coming in here to help you and it's going to be this couple. Okay, uh, it's the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. They're actually going to be your guardian light. They're going to be your angels because underneath them is the Ace of Cups. So either if this new relationship, you know, works out in your favor, it gets you back to being the courageous one, being the entrepreneur that you are. It's going to help you be more passionate, more loving. You're going to be able to express yourself. But if it's because you have to run away from this other person who's trying to block your blessings here with the lover's card, to me, this is like a birthright. You should be moving towards that. But this person kept trying to delay you with the immaturity, with the tit for tat, with the drama. Just, it's not cool. It's just no bueno. You know what I mean? Look, you got the king of cups too. Whole lot of people going on in here. For some reason, I feel like that king of cups is a snitch. So it might be your emotions. You know, you need to get better control of them. Don't tell on yourself about whatever plan it is that you're making to turn your back. Don't create your own drama here. Don't sell yourself out with this five of swords. All right. You can do better than that. All right. But if the king of cups is someone who's affiliated with the ex, do not trust that person is what I'm hearing. The vibration coming from that would be a little on the awkward side. Okay. Yeah, because, yeah, and especially if they're only doing it, trying to say that they're helping you so that they can hit on you here with this drama. Because they know that you're dealing with someone who's toxic anyway. And so they say, oh, well, maybe they'll let me smash once they become single. No, don't deal with anybody like that. Yeah, that could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. I'm feeling an older, an older, someone who knows better. You know what I mean? They... I don't know. They feel like they've got an in with you or there's an opportunity. Yeah, they're just going to crumb it. Seriously. They're going to try to text you. Okay, and here's the other thing. I mean, the only thing that that's going to be good for is you taking the opportunity um, to balance the scales out here with the Six of Pentacles. Like, oh, okay, you can, you can keep giving it with the tit for tat. That's one that you would hold on to to make sure that you would you know, I feel like for some of you, you want to get underneath this person's skin. And for some of you, you might need to because of the way that they came at you, the way that they've been treating you. There's definitely player energy here. There's narcissism. It's like I told you, it's a faded energy. And because of all of the endings that we've been going through, you know, as we reach the September time frame, it's just like, dude, aren't you ready to balance this out now? You are now in a position to where you will be, you know, above the rest you'll be able to help out okay i don't see this as you looking for a handout here i'm seeing as you cutting people off stepping into your higher self here and sending when people try to block you from doing so yeah and all i'm hearing to myself is just if you think it's no bueno then it's no bueno all right yeah see judgment judgment came flying right on out here okay and i feel like it's between the divine masculine and divine feminine because it went straight for this deck and this is a Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine deck. 
Yeah, and that's the masculine. So you have new opportunities. I think that they want you to say yes to whatever it is that you feel could be assisting you with this page of cups. Um, yeah, I, and I'm, I'm also picking up on tulips because of the way that he's dressed right here. So, or she, you know, this could be a child, but this is also opportunity. This is news coming in that's going to be beneficial for you. So remember what I said, keep your emotions in check, keep them in flow, all right? Because they might make you feel some type of way, you know, they might make you feel new, whatever this is. Do not allow either this new love offer, this uh, new opportunity, or some sort of news to go either unanswered or un... How do I... I don't want to say analyzed, but un... What's the word I'm looking for? Like, handle your business. If you find something out where someone was trying to do something to you to block you, to delay you, you need to make sure that you utilize that information in the best way possible so that the choice is yours and the judgment is in your favor, okay? This is also when you have the lover's card and the judgment card like this, I was not playing when I said you guys have soulmate energy coming in here to talk to you. These are people that are divinely guided and car I'm not gonna say karmically, I'm gonna say dharma. You know, they, this is a blessing for you so that you will be able to get away from anything that was stagnant, trying to hold you back. The right time. This is divine timing. Divine timing to help you make your choices in love. I cannot wait till you meet whoever these new people are. And if you don't know them, they might even be your family. Could be a Gemini, could be a Scorpio here. Yeah, that are trying to show you how to work on something. I'm hearing shh. I'm hearing be quiet with the things that you do. You don't have to say anything out loud. Your emotions will also betray you. Get your resting bitch face together. Okay, Aquarius? Makes sense to me. Let's talk about your money. I think that's going to be extremely important for you guys. And whenever you guys find this reading, of course, it's timeless, so whatever. I see the high priestess at the bottom of the deck with the page of swords. I told you, you need to be quiet. Whatever it is you're doing, just take it, take it all in stride. You know, so you know how to handle it when someone's trying to come at you with this Knight of um, Wands and you can put it to rest. Yeah, your higher self is about to really do somebody here. That's what I think. I think that you're going to see them coming so clearly with all of this air energy that they're not even going to know what hit them by the time you're done with them. And that's and it's almost like you will get this last laugh. You will. Yeah, I told you. Here's your money. Success. Bottom of the deck, you do have the moon card. But I told you, it's the new moon in um, Libra. Plus, we just had that full moon, right? So that full moon was all about ending some sort of opportunity in your home life at that. Okay? Let's see. It was a full moon in Pisces. You're getting rid of delusions in the home. And as soon as you did that, your money came right on through. I told you, bouncing. That's what I just heard. You are bouncing to a whole new spot. You might be buying a new car, whatever it is. You will love to be wherever it is that you are headed, wherever it is that you're going. You are not about to let anyone hold you back. I think that you smile on purpose. You're one of those people that high fives yourself in the morning, Aquarius. That's good. I mean, and if you're not, you should get there. It feels really good. It's actually very liberating. You know how people drink a cup of coffee in the morning? <laughs> Look who's at the bottom of the deck again. Justice. Might be dealing with the Libra energy. If you are dealing with the Libra, um, that's a whole nother scenario. And you probably need a personal read on that one because that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, that Libra might be the one who you that new lover is so be careful with this Aquarius I don't want you to miss out if the Libra is your new lover I don't want you to miss out okay but I also don't want you to um, let anybody else mess this up either yeah it, it could be like a whole social media thing behind it is what I'm picking up on with that okay that yeah it just kind of messes up the whole vibration maybe they just have too many women or you aren't sure that you want to let anybody know that you're talking to this person. If it's a Libra is what it feels like. Okay. Otherwise, it's just a whole lot of 
justification of why someone feels the way they do with all this heart space. I know that we're talking about your money, but I just, I had to get that out there. So anyway, your money is coming in for you and you are going to be in a state of content. You have the King of Cups on top of the Chariot and the Ten of Cups. It really doesn't get any better than that. You're investing. You will invest, but I also think that there's some of you guys that release. <laughs> you cannot make it up. I know exactly what this is with your money. Because you notice there's no money here. That's not what you're valuing right now. What you're valuing is getting the hell away from this person so that you can shine and just be vibrant and blessed, right? Or whatever this situation is, person, place, thing, whatever, okay? This, what, it, what this is, is you meditating, okay? They're showing you to meditate. Maybe sometimes you don't meditate like you're supposed to, but this is you loving yourself, literally. This is also you not even having to worry about money, Aquarius. You know why? Because you've got someone who wants to share with you with the Six of Pentacles. This is that person that's getting ready to come in here and offer you the opportunity to have stability. They're going to be giving to you. Spirit is going to be providing for you a abundantly every time you turn around anything it is that you need it will be right there in front of you you don't have to say anything you just think it and it manifests because you choose to stay in a higher vibration you know that you are going to be moving away from whatever toxicity this is okay some of you guys probably need to go check out guardian angel messages by the way because the vibration is some somewhat similar for the time frame Yes, I just flipped straight to the Ace of Pentacles. Excuse me, I was going to say Ace of Pentacles. And that was a major vibration over on Guardian Angel Messages. But, and that was just a collective. So Aquarius, the Eight of Pentacles that I just saw was you working on yourself. This is because you have done your service. I feel like you, at a young age, more than likely, had always been taken advantage of. You were put into a situation that created hardships for you where you felt like you never had any money. That's over it. You might need to go get a financial, you know, representative to do whatever it is that you need to do because spirit is coming in and providing you with something that is blessed and abundant. Okay, I feel like it's people that are going to be in your life, but there's going to be a reckoning. There's going to be a final decision here that brings you in positive um, vibration, self-love, self-care. When you are loving yourself, guess what? Your money flows too. Don't hope for anything with this nasty energy that you had around you. No hope. Just let it go. You keep putting hope into that and you're going to block all of these blessings that are going to come your way. No hope for that stuff that was there. See? King of Wands. I told you. Somebody, yeah, whoever this is, there's someone who definitely wants to be around you. They want to be loyal to. They, they want to be committed to you. You have an offer of stability coming in here because someone sees your light. I told you. The Ace of, uh, Ace of Swords. Somebody sees your light. They know you are love. They know that you've been blocked in life. And this might be your angel guides. Because they love you so much, they are going to offer you something very stable to where you can be on your own. You can stand your ground. You can say, yes, I understand that life can be intricate, right? You've got all these layers right here. I understand that life can be intricate. But I'm going to accept the offer that my spirit guides are giving me. I'm going to accept the kindness that I really want to feel because when I feel this kindness, this is Aquarius. You're saying this to yourself. When you feel this kindness, that's what comes in for you. All that beauty, all that abundance. Who is reading was deep? Don't forget, we are going to have the extended. It's going to be you and your other person. How you feel about them, think about them, and the actions you two are going to be taking towards each other. Two of sticks, two of knives. Some of you guys don't have a job. Or you're blocked in what you want to do. So tobacco is at the bottom of this with baby's breath. There is an ending here. Okay. There is definitely an ending here. But let's see how this resonates for my Aquariuses, please. I told you. Some of you guys don't even need to worry about this. You have beauty and blessings coming for you. Five of six. Yeah. Career. Empress. Offer. Yeah, I told you. Huh. So career and soul purpose. This is you with the Empress energy here. I told you, you're stepping into an offer of marriage. You're stepping into an offer of commitment here. 
Um, for some of you guys, I feel like you could be having troubles at work with your counterparts. Like some of you guys, you're an executive here. I, I'm picking up on executive level, but I'm also picking up on, um, you know, blue collar. I am. They, they, you know what they showed me? They showed me Target. They showed me Target and they showed me um, like the, the upfront counter area. Um, but I'm also seeing upscale as well. I'm seeing just different things, like different tiers of where people are in life. And remember, we talked about how at some point someone made you feel like you didn't have enough or they tried to hold you back. Even if this is the system, okay? That block was so much conflict for you that you decided to do something different. You actually came out here and you're you're learning a whole new way. I almost feel like for some of you guys, if this is you don't feel like you're the empress here in this, maybe you're still getting there. There was a mother figure around you that blocked you, Aquarius, from feeling like you could move towards something that was more abundant. But I see you doing that. I, I feel like maybe because they went the way they live their life or the type of jobs that they had in life, you didn't know to look for more. You always said, oh, I need to have two and three jobs to do this instead of saying, why don't I go to school to get this education and just work one job that makes me the money of all three of those jobs. No one ever taught someone that here, okay? Um, so the institution is actually going to be helping you out where other people had been naysayers in the past. Your job will be helping you. Um, I also feel like if you are working with a team of feminines, yes, the, the, if it's a female, um, or a female tendency type of boss, she does let the squalor happen on purpose. I think it makes her giggle. I just, what I'm picking up on. Okay. Yeah, that's not cool. But... Some of you guys won't even have to work anymore because you've got this new opportunity. It's either the lottery or it's um, like a new lover or I'm not going to say sugar daddy because it's a soulmate. It's someone coming in here offering you something new. Yeah, the current position you're in, I told you, it, it was it's over. It is. There's an eight of sticks energy here where it was meant to. So things are going to start moving very, very quickly for you now. You're moving out of whatever it was you were doing career-wise, okay? Some of you guys, I'm picking up on, um, I'm hearing waste management, but I'm also picking up on um, like oceanic, like I'm seeing someone on a freight ship. That's what they're showing, big freight ship with the letters on the sides, the, you know, the ships that carry ships. Yeah, stuff like that. That's how big that thing is. So you will be moving into a new direction here is what this chariot energy is saying. And that's where your wealth is. That's where your finance is. Your heart is going to be so overflowed with whatever this is. It's amazing. Yeah, see, look, I told you. Okay, so you've got this whole new opportunity that's going to be coming in here. I told you, this is the Queen of Wands. It's a tobacco energy. Do I already have the other Queen of Wands out here? No, she came back out. So this deck, I don't know if I've ever explained it to you, Aquarius, but this deck has two Queen of Wands. It printed that way. I think my deck is special. Like in it, because you remember back in the day with this energy, there was always another woman. There was always someone who could replace a family member. Men would have three wives, especially if one died in childbirth, you know, things like that. Just an example, anyway. Um, the way that you're headed into something, some of you guys, this is also the medical field. You are going to be doing something above and beyond. You're going to be helping people in this particular situation with the daughter of coins here. Because the daughter of coins has come back out. You're loving. You could be a nurse. You could just be holding on to a vibration of where you are traveling as well. This is also traveling nurse here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And maybe that's what it is. Maybe the people you were working with. Traveling nurse, Target. I mean, we've seen all of them. I just saw a Freightliner. Who sees a Freightliner? Like, yeah. No, there's something there. Some of you guys, I'm seeing cruise. There's like a cruise. Someone, it's, someone is a dancer on a cruise. Or there's something there. Like someone does one job, but then when it's time to perform, they go do another job. And I've never been on a cruise, but so I, I guess people do that. I don't know. All right, you guys, I love you dearly. I truly do. I feel like spirit is asking you to wait on something. Yeah, <laughs> wait on yourself. Love yourself. This is the grandchildren. You have a legacy to leave. You really do. A legacy to leave that's going to make you feel abundant, special. You guys are going to be, this is your time to shine. This is your time to glow. So get rid of whatever this is that's holding you back as far as your emotional state. Come on over to Vimeo. Join me for the extended. 
And I will see you guys on Friday Night Love Terror. Don't forget, hashtag FN as in Nancy, T as in Tango, right? Oh, no, don't forget the L, FNLT. <laughs> anyway, whatever. This is for you guys. Peace and elbow grease.